Hello everyone and welcome back to Genie Crafts. In today's video, we are going to make a very simple string art, the yin yang shape with the help of two different colored strings. So the colors that I am going to utilize is one red and one green silk thread. So these are 80 weight thread. That means that these are really fine threads and we'll be showing you how to create the simple art. So guys, let's get started. So the first thing that you need is a board. As you can see that I have already prepared my board by putting nails in a circle. So I have utilized 144 nails across the entire board and the thickness of this hard board is one centimeter. So to create a contrast of the thread color with the background, I have cut out a circle which I'm going to place at the center. And to ensure that the paper sticks to the hard board, I have already placed five uh, you know strips of double sided tape and I will stick my paper on top of these strips so that it remains in place. So the first step is to find two diametrically opposite nails as you can see that I've already marked two nails which are the two ends of the diameter of this uh, board. The board is of 20 inch uh, you know diameter so 10 inch radius. Uh, ideally for this a particular type of design you require odd number of nails but I had this board previously prepared so I kind of made it with 144 nails instead of 143 nails because with the even number you can't find the exact diametrically opposite nails but with such large number of nails it doesn't make that much of a difference so we'll first start with the green thread now this thread is your regular silk craft thread which you can find in any craft shop there is nothing special about it uh, this thread is really delicate so I had to be you know careful that I do not apply too much tension otherwise it will break so carefully tie the thread on one of those marked nails and then we will proceed with the creation of the design. Now the technique of looping thread for this particular design is very simple and I will do a separate video on the different ways in which to loop threads across a circle of nails to achieve different designs. So for this design for understanding let's say there are two sides to the board the left side and the right side on both sides there are two diametrically opposite nails and you can decide early on whether you want to move clockwise or anti-clockwise so I am moving anti-clockwise now the only difference between the two sides is that on the left hand side for each nail I am going to cover two nails on the right hand side so as you can see on the screen I am using each nail on the left hand side twice against two nails on the right hand side so what this does is that instead of creating a circle of threads or a circular effect of thread it creates a kind of uh, you know skewed circle which will form half of your yin yang shape so that's one of the techniques of looping threads to create a kind of shape uh, similarly if uh, you loop it in a different way then you get a heart shape if you loop it in a different way then you get a hyperbola shape so depending upon how you are looping threads and how many times you are util utilizing nails across the ends of the diameter you get different different shapes so for this on left hand side once again for each nail i'm covering two nails on the right hand side as you can see on the screen also and you have to carry this process till you match both the nails or the left hand uh, or the right hand side catches up with the left hand side and meets the nail on the left hand side so that's where the end of half of your shape will be uh, sorry about the video getting in and out of focus the camera was on auto focus and every time my hand came in front of the camera it kind of you know uh, zoomed out of the main board but you get the idea that how this design is being formed as you continue you will see that the gap between both the ends will keep on reducing and slowly and slowly both the ends will catch up to each other and that's the point where you need to stop because that's the point where you are done with half of your design and we'll have to follow the same process for the next color which is the red silk thread which will form the other half of the design once both the ends catch up to each other uh, tie off the thread and we are done with half of the design Now for the remaining half of the design uh, what we do is that we 
transfer the left hand nail towards the right hand and the right hand towards the left basically we just interchange both the nails by rota rotating the board and then we follow the exact same process that we did for the green thread and slowly and slowly your design for the red thread will also start forming Once you reach the end, tie off the red thread also and with that our yin yang design is ready. I hope you guys enjoyed this simple video on a very basic thread nail art. If you guys like the video then please do not forget to hit the like button and share this video with your friends. Also do subscribe to my channel for regular videos on paper arts. And I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Till then stay safe, take care and bye bye.